guys, happy Friday, happy Mommy Pro weekend. We are running a little behind as per usual, but there wasn't much um, pushing me towards getting to my next appointment today because I have to go meet my accountant and my financial planner to hear the bad news about how I didn't make that much money last year. Anyway, so we are not in the best of moods, not to mention last night I got this horrendous rash all over my legs. I mean like hives, itchy, bumps. It was to the point where I scratched so hard, I lifted all my nail polish and I was, I preferred to be in pain versus itchy. It was awful. So Parker's like, why don't you take some Benadryl? You guys, I don't take medication. I hate taking medicine. I suffer from migraines. I had two cesareans. Like, I avoid it at all costs. When I got my C-sections, I refused narcotics. I just took ibuprofen and some Aleve and that was it. When I have my migraines, like it takes a lot for me to take Excedrin migraine. Um, anyway, so I was like, okay, fine. I'm so itchy, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. I knocked out, I closed my eyes, I opened them, it was 6.30, it was awful. <laughs> that never happens to me, you guys. Anyway, I'm running behind, outfit of the day, uh, taxes, I don't know, work, whatever, we gotta go. So we went with something super simple, I didn't wanna do my makeup today. You guys, I haven't done my makeup in like the last 17 vlogs. <laughs> So this is my glamorous face. I'm wearing just this white uh, collared shirt from Abercrombie, I think. This little tree is Abercrombie. It's either Abercrombie or Hollister. It's a brand I shouldn't be wearing for my age, <laughs> but I'm wearing it proudly. Uh, these are the jeans that I showed you guys in the Valentine's Day themed um, express haul or outfit haul. These shoes are actually old. Um, they are from DSW. I got them one or two summers ago. They actually brought them back this year, but they changed the style. Um, so now, instead of it just having studs around the ankle, it also has studs around the toe part. So it kind of frames them. They look a little bit like Valentino's, but they're not. They are, I don't remember, but I'll link them. They're just gonna be a little bit different from these. And then this is Sophia in her outfit of the day, her little nub and tail. This is Popo in his diaper of the day. Hi, Popo. And then the Chubber Nubbers. Show us your cinnamon rolls of the day. Show us all your cinnamon rolls of today. Yes, you do. Show us. Oh, those are all the cinnamon rolls. Let me see my favorite. Where's my favorite cinnamon roll? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Or is it this one? I love your cinnamon rolls. You guys! Okay, so here's the scoop. I'm leaving tax time, my accountant central. Um, so the place I get my taxes done is hilarious. It's like family run. So everyone's there, the wife, the husband, the sister-in-law, the sister, the grandma, like everyone's there and it's such a hoot every time I go. But I take my financial planner with me because I often get asked questions. Okay, you guys, real talk. Let's talk about the truth about who I am. The number one thing that makes me feel crummy is feeling stupid about numbers, whether it's math, finances, loans. So the one thing that really hurts my feelings is when I feel stupid. So um, working with Todd, my financial planner, gives me that like safety blanket that feeling of, of comfort or safety. Like if I have a question, I know I could pick up the phone and call him or text him and be like, A, B, and C, I'm feeling really stupid right now, help. And he's like, oh, let me dumb it down for you in like a non-insulting kind of way. <laughs> So he's really sweet with that and it really helps. Anyway, so whenever I do stuff like this, I bring him along. He shouldn't do that. It's not part of his job. Like he's not, it's not, it's not, it's not why I hire him, um, or rather, it's not why you would hire him, it's why I hired him. <laughs> but he's just become part of my family. Um, everyone has. Um, when I got divorced, I kind of accidentally grew a group of friends um, that really, that really helped me out. Um, 
from the lender that helped me refinance my home, from the accountant to the financial planner. Um, and so they all ended up knowing each other some way and one referred me to the other. Anyway, I just was really well taken care of and it made me so happy. It made a really scary time in my life uh, less scary. Anyway, I don't know how I got on to, I know what you're trying to see, where I am. You're trying to check my environment, check what's going on around here, because yes, I in fact am right outside of an In-N-Out. Do you know why? Because my accountant is in the same shopping center as an In-N-Out. The same In-N-Out I always go to. So I always go in the wrong way and now I have to make a U-turn. Anyway, all of that to say was I was at the accountant for an hour and a half and now, oh, you just cut me in line, mother truckers. Okay, so with my job, it is extremely challenging to do your taxes because the amount of money in the type of work that you do there's so many rules you need to follow. For example, hey guys, do you like my new sunglasses? I just hauled them at the mall. I can expense these glasses. Expense doesn't mean that I get, get the money back in my taxes, but I do get a fraction of it back if it's helping me produce some of this content. If it's involved in my job somehow, whether in content production, showing an example, teaching a lesson or something, I can expense it. So, but there's also a lot of things that are sticky and, and subjective and like mileage and gas and um, how to use my vehicle for personal versus business reasons. Like there's very fine lines. And I am such a rule follower, you guys, that I'm so nervous when it comes to doing my taxes. Anyway, long story short, I was so precarious over my my taxes last year that I overpaid um, when you're self-employed it's recommended that you do quarterly payments on your taxes I never get a refund ever um, so it's important that you do quarterly payments well I overpaid so I actually got um, a refund this year which goes nowhere because it's gonna go back to my first quarter payment. <laughs> Long story short is I made the same amount of money I made last year. I am worried though because social media marketing is not what it was. It's not what it has been. Um, and I'm going to make about half of my income next year. So we're going to be a little bit on the struggle bus. But you know what? I trust God's plan. Um, anyway, so we are sitting outside of In-N-Out, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have a date with myself for In-N-Out. I don't know if you guys have been following me on Instagram, but I've been teasing Parker a lot about In-N-Out. It all started as a joke with my friend Veto. She was like, yeah, I ate In-N-Out twice yesterday or whatever, and I was like, man, Parker and I haven't gotten in and out in a while, but I say it like Parker hasn't gotten me in and out, like it's his responsibility to get it for me. I can get it for my self, but I just like to go with him, you know? Um, anyway, so I've been teasing him like we haven't gone to in and out, me, me, me. But today, the story's gonna change. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you, Chandler? Good, Wait, one second. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry about that. We'll That's okay. Can I have a number two um, with onions? Chopped chilies and a Dr. Pepper, please. Okay. And that's it. All right, would you like to eat that in the car? Yes. All right, cheeseburger with onion, add chilies, fry, and a Dr. Pepper will be six seventy-seven at the first one at least. Thank you. Thank you. If you've never tried in and out get the chopped chilies inside the cheeseburger. Whoever told me about that, I love you. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's uh, 1245. I am so relieved whew, that my taxes are done with. I was gonna do an extension this year, but I just, I panicked. I called my accountant. I was like, oh, is there any way you guys can squeeze me in? They were like, yeah, come tomorrow. I was like, okay. So here's the scoop, you guys. It's almost one o'clock. Uh, Parker's actually teaching a course today, so he'll be home a lot later than usual. I don't know if he's gonna go to the gym or what's going on. Um, I have a lot of work to do. I'm a little annoyed because my literal next door neighbor is pouring concrete, and so they have this big giant cement truck right outside my house. Um, and you can <laughs> you hear my snort. You can hear the sound um, in the footage. I tried to do like a little test shot. I was like, maybe you won't be able to pick up the sound, but you hear the Anyway, all I know is I need to film. I need to show you guys my new patio furniture. Um, and I need to hang out with my boyfriend. So 
I've been getting a lot of comments about how like, oh, Parker's in all your videos now. You guys have to remember that you see a fraction of my life on these vlogs and it's really special for us when we get um, time away from our kids. So if you notice, his daughters and my kids are never in the vlog. So when our calendars line up, it just so happens that it's a weekend that I would vlog because I don't have my kids and he doesn't have his kids. It just works that way. So I've been trying to keep it a little more, hey, Danny, less Parker, but I think we just kind of have to go with the transition of, of where life is moving, you know? I mean, pretty soon, I just m might be, I don't know, just including him in everything because we live together or are married or I don't know. Okay, Parker, don't watch this. That just sounded very creepy. <laughs> you guys! All right, so I think this is gonna be my new usual. Beside, before I used to get two cheeseburgers, two fries, a soda, and a shake. How did I eat all that food? God knows. But now I always get the number two with onions and chopped chilies and a Dr. Pepper. This is my go-to. I was drinking an iced coffee today hoping my headache would go away and that is not looking good. So anyway, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this in the privacy of my own vehicle in the middle of an abandoned parking lot and uh, live my best life. Okay, you guys, so here is the scoop. I probably have in and out in my teeth. I'm driving towards my home and I text my neighbor. I was like, hey, is the truck still out back? Cause ain't nobody got time for that. She's like, yes, I'm sorry. I'm like, don't be sorry. Just don't do any home improvements, please. <laughs> Not on days where I need to film. Just kidding. Um, so I thought we would do something else. For example, um, I told you guys I got new patio furniture, but my biggest concern is my two boy dogs, the Dobo and Wesley, are going to mark the furniture because they're boy dogs. So it's kind of a thing they do. Boy dogs, it's impossible for them to walk past anything and not want to pee on it. The funny thing is, they never pee inside my house. The only times that Wesley peed in the house was when I realized he was diabetic because he really couldn't control himself. He was peeing everywhere. Like every 10 minutes he was peeing everywhere. Uh, it was the only time, but when they're inside my home, they never mark, ever. The double dribbles because of his enlarged prostate, but he's never marked either. But God forbid I leave a shoe a pinata, a bucket, a bubble machine, heck, even the enzyme cleaner spray bottle. If I leave that outside, they pee on it. So I've resisted getting patio furniture for several reasons. A, because I never had anyone to sit outside with. <laughs> My boys are hardly ever outside because my oldest is severely allergic to everything. Um, not like peanuts and stuff, but I mean, anytime, like springtime, he's miserable. Like tears running down his face. He basically acts sick, completely sick. So we don't spend that much time outside. I mean, yesterday we went for a walk. They took out their little fire truck. I took out the dogs. We were out for maybe almost two hours. My legs got full of hives. <laughs> we're ridiculous. Anyway, so I never got patio furniture because we were never outside. I had no one to hang out with. Um, my dogs piss on everything. I just, I don't know what to do to stop it. It's not some kind of behavior that you can correct because I feel like it's just gonna happen. Now, if the patio furniture was in a place like out of sight and they peed on it, it's no big deal. We're not really gonna sit on it that often and it rains a lot so it's not imposing almost. But where I put the patio furniture is right when you exit the back door. So I don't want piss that close to my house, you know what I mean? So we are gonna do two things. A, we're gonna go to a Home Depot, maybe Target, to get um, some citronella stuff, just to keep the mosquitoes away from that little area. You guys, the mosquitoes in Dallas right now, I don't know what's going on, but they're having their annual convention here. <laughs> Lord have mercy. They are everywhere. It's insane, like full on insanity. Um, and then, uh, maybe um, an outdoor rug just to make it look cute. Although I don't know if that's a good idea considering dogs and dog hair and dog piss. Um, and then the other thing is um, 
trying out, and I thought we would do this on a vlog, trying out the marking spray. Uh, PetSmart has several different brands of marking sprays, uh, or rather, don't mark sprays. Um, and I thought I would buy like two or three different ones and see which one actually works. The reviews for these like anti-marking sprays, or sprays that you put on things or carpet or areas where you don't want your dogs to pee or even lay down. The reviews are bad. Like all of them have bad reviews. Um, so it's kind of one of those products that is either gonna work for you or is not gonna work for you. There's nothing in between like, oh, it kind of works. No, it either works or it doesn't work. Um, I have four dogs, so uh, I need to be on top of things like this. So I thought we would get a couple sprays and see which one works. There are a lot of DIY ones too where you... Okay. There are a lot of DIY sprays also that you can do um, with vinegar and essential oils, but essential oils like freak me out with my dogs because I know some dogs are like... I mean, not some dogs. Animals are... <laughs> They're deadly. I, I don't know. There's some essential oils that are that make your dogs like super sick. Um, so I could go the DIY route. I wonder if I could spray thieves on, <laughs> on the furniture and then they won't mark on it because thieves has a really strong scent. Um, I'll have to ask Lauren. She's my essential oils expert. I think we should do that. Like go to Home Depot. Maybe go to PetSmart. I don't know kind of want to hang out in my little back patio furniture situation area just have some fun I don't know what we would do back there just except sit maybe take our favor uber eats out there <laughs> oh my gosh I really need to film you guys I have the worst headache I forgot to drink coffee today so I like grabbed it on the way out so I brewed it right and then I was like, crap, I need to take a shower. I'm running behind schedule. So I brewed it and then I just left it. And when I was leaving, um, when I was leaving the house, I, it was just sitting there. So I just added a couple ice cubes and I brought it with me. Um, and I drank it while I was sitting there with my accountant, but um, it didn't work. It was too late. It was too far gone. The caffeine headache had struck and it was over. I wonder if they have, um, some sort of repellent thing at Home Depot. Cause you know Home Depot's legit, you guys. You could go buy fox piss there. <laughs> Although I don't know if that would, that's, that's, not, that's a bad example, right? Isn't that to, to scare away rabbits or something? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go. We're gonna get into some shenanigans at the Home Depot. I love the Home Depot. Do you think people say the Home Depot? Cause that's the name. It's Home or is it Home Depot? Is it the Home Depot? The? I don't know. We're gonna have to verify. <laughs> here for a check-in so I just got home I changed oh my gosh this weather is so pretty but it's so unpredictable it's probably gonna rain in 10 minutes um, and I was about to start doing some little handy stuff around the house and I was like um I might as well show you what I'm gonna do but before I do that I'm gonna show you my haul from PetSmart and Home Depot because I know you care so much so in last weekend's vlog I told you about this product that I use it's the urine destroyer um, so it's basically can you just find your spot please Seriously, you're like jumping beans on me. Siéntate, siéntate, siéntate. He's so ants in his pants. Anyway, I told you guys last weekend's vlog that I use urine destroyer when I'm outside um, just for the brick pillars that the boy dogs sometimes mark on. Um, it does leave sort of a stain, so it makes it look a lot worse than it actually is, but as long as they don't mark on it again. The problem with that is that if it rains too hard or if the weather changes a lot, I feel like it goes away. Um, Texas sun kills everything. I mean, people use it as a natural bleach. Um, so it's it's strong. It's strong. It's a str it's a strong sun. Um, 
And so rain, same thing, it floods. It rains so hard it floods, so I'm sure that that sort of gets washed away and they remark on it. Plus when it's raining, like they don't actually wanna go out into the yard to get their business done. Anyway, when I was at PetSmart, I saw this new product. Um, let me show you. So normally I use um, Nature's Miracle Urine Destroyer, but I just found um, this one. This is supposed to be like the super heavy dirty ultra max stain odor everything eliminator. So this also destroys urine and everything else. I don't know if it, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen it before, but it's called Advanced Severe Mess Enzymatic Formula. This one over here is just urine enzymatic formula. Anyway, what I'm getting at with this, I took out my ladder because I'm gonna replace um, some bulbs up here. Um, what I'm getting at is I'm gonna use that to clean, but I wanted some options. So I got this one, this is a more natural, it's like a healthier brand. This is the Stain and Odor Remover. Um, it has Oxy on it. I have a feeling this is gonna be way too gentle for what I need, especially because brick is permeable. That truck, you guys, is making noise all day. Um, brick is permeable, so I don't know how well that's gonna work, but I thought I would try it. You never know with these natural products, like they'll super work or they won't work at all. Then I also got this one. It's a Nature's Miracle No More Marking. I haven't used this one. So this is a stain and odor remover, plus it has repellent. So it's a three in one. Usually with stuff that is way multi-purpose like this, they don't work as well. That same brand also has Pet Block. So I put this on all the furniture, like at the bottom of all the furniture is what I sprayed. So they haven't marked on it yet, so I'm hoping that I don't need the odor um, remover or the stain remover. I can just go straight in with the repellent spray and they won't mark on it. I'll show you the furniture in a second. Um, and then the big jug over there to clean up everything. Then at Home Depot, I saw this cool thing. How cool is this? So it's an LED bulb plus it has the bug zapper. I know a lot of you might find that offensive, but I'm telling you guys, it's a full on mosquito convention here. Then I got an off um, citronella candle just for this little coffee table right here that I'm gonna show you in a second. And then I also got these. So they had they have this new brand at Home Depot. I don't know, I've never seen it before. The branding itself makes it seem a little cheap, but they were the demo bulbs inside the store and they looked awesome. What sold me is that it says good for enclosed. I have a problem with buying bulbs and then I put the, um, I don't know what it's called, the little glass bulb over it, like the decor part, and it dims it significantly. So when I saw that, I was like, hmm, this better work. So I got this for the outdoor fan. I got this for the side yard. I got that for the dogs. But let me show you guys the furniture. So it's not that, I need to get good lighting, you guys. All right, let me come over here. Um, I got it at Target. So it's a coffee table, that little love seat, and then these two little armchairs. Um, they were having a 25% off sale, then 5% off for my red card, and an additional 5% if you did shipping, in-store pickup, or um, drive up pickup. So if you didn't go into the store and buy it, they would give you an additional 5%. So I really love the set. I'll show you kind of what I wanna do with it eventually, but I think I wanna put like a little rug, um, maybe another little table over there in that corner. But my problem is keeping the dogs from marking. So fingers crossed that they'll stay away from furniture. I kind of started to try and train them last night. When they're inside the house, they don't pee on their beds. They don't pee on anything inside the house. But I figured if they realized they could lay on this furniture, it would be almost like a bed, right? Like, speaking of which, like, does he think? <laughs> He's not very smart. <laughs> if they could lay on it, then they'll realize, hey, this is a bed, not something for me to pee on. So they might be more inclined to do so. Wesley, sit right there, keep up. Ben, sit right there. Come on. Come on, Bubba. Get up here. Come here, baby. Come on, it's a bed. See, it's a bed. Come on. Mern, come here. Good girl. Yeah, see, you can hang out right here. It's not like she's the pisser, because she's a girl, she's a lady. It's you that's the problem. But I think it has a lot to do with the fact he's diabetic, so he needs to pee all the time. It's not really his fault, but kind of is. Anyway, so we're gonna tackle these pillars over here and over here and see what we can do about it. Hey, Bunks. Hi, Goldie. Does the cement feel nice on your belly? 
Huh? Did you feel so good? So we're gonna tackle this um, light in here, which is why I have the ladder. Then we're going to put some of this. I think we're gonna go with this one first. We'll try that one first. And then we are going to hammer. Hey, See, they like the cool cement. Then this dingy bulb over here, it used to be bright at one point. We're gonna replace it with that bug zapper, but I guess I have to remove this and just leave it off for a second. Do you like my new watch band? Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? This was a whole $8 on the Amazon, mm-hmm. Guys, happy Friday evening. So, got a hot date tonight. My super glam makeup. Um, Parker got home from work later today because I told you guys he was, <laughs> he was teaching. So, um, we, I don't know, we got home like at 6, 5 or 6? 5.30ish. 5.30. Um, so we're catching up on our day, um, but then we realized we were super hungry, and I'm like maybe 12 minutes away from being hangry. Do you guys like my headband? <laughs> I put my hair back and then I just, I was like, I'm just going to leave it because I don't want hair on my face. Anyway, so we, Parker and I played this game, it's very romantic. So he makes me pick three restaurants, then he narrows it down to two, then I'm obligated to pick the one restaurant, which I've come to the realization that it's the only way he can get me to pick it just from the jump, right? <laughs> he pretends he's involved in this decision making process. And so uh, we were between Rockfish, which you guys have seen we Uber Eats. Um, I love this song. <laughs> Take it! Take another <laughs> little piece of my heart Janice! Now, baby. Janice Joplin! Man, I wish she hadn't overdosed. She would have been like still famous. My dad used to play this song on repeat when I was little. I know, weird, but we used to enjoy listening to this kind of music together, like are 60s. You, are you sure she overdosed? Yeah. Was I thought she choked on like some food. No. I thought she overdosed on heroin. Really? Yeah. Oh, I need to Google that. Yeah, yeah, well, let's verify. Um, I'm pretty sure she overdosed on heroin. Anyway, um, so he's between Rockfish, which you guys have seen on Uber Eats, Wingstop, because wings, and uh, Mezcal, that um, street taco place that we went to pretty recently. Um, I bet you guys can guess which place won. We're gonna go eat tacos. I'm thinking though, because there's a fair, it's the first annual Frisco Fair, um, and it's like down the street, that it might be full. And I'm not about to wait. Told you guys, 13 minutes till hangry. So we might end up doing carry out wing stop, but who knows. Anyway. It's heroin. Heroin, heroin. Oh. Yeah, she'd love that good life. How do you think she got that delicious voice? Um, yeah, my dad and I used to love listening to Credence. Janice, the Beatles, um, Alabama, kind of random. Um, so, yeah, tacos. I'm like envisioning eating like seven of the little street tacos with carne asada, tons of cilantro and onion, and then just blowing fire the rest of the night. Are you guys excited? I am excited. I am excited. Just make sure we won't get the tamales this time. No, no tamales. <laughs> No tamale cake. <laughs> oh, you guys want to see something? Parker is the cutest. So I got in his car last night. That sounded weird. <laughs> he pulled over and I got in. Um, Going my way. And he had a sticky mat in his car because whenever I'm in his truck, I vlog like this. And then you guys are like, I get motion sickness. I get, I'm pretty sure it's a little hard for me to vlog too. Um, and so he asked me about the sticky mat that I have in, in my SUV. He got him in many different sizes, so we'll find the perfect one, like Goldilocks. Goldilocks of Sticky Man. This one here. I know, he's the best. Um, but you know what's better? Tacos, so. <laughs> Hey, 
you guys. Happy Saturday. I'm coming to you from the dungeon that is my bedroom. Um, so I told you guys I had a headache yesterday. And it's never a good thing when you're like, oh, I think it's because I didn't drink coffee. And you drink coffee and that doesn't help. Hmm. Maybe it's because uh, my hormones. So you take ibuprofen and that doesn't work. And you're like, hmm, maybe I'm a newborn baby and I can do... Tylenol and uh, Motrin, you know, when you get babies like every two hours. <laughs> um, and then that doesn't work. So usually for me, that means um, it's a migraine. I can usually tell um, when it's a migraine because it's centralized to like the front part of my face. Um, and just this whole area of my face is actually sensitive to the touch. Um, when I walk, I feel like I'm walking forward like falling forward um I get nauseous not with food like I'm still hungry I could still eat uh drink fine but I'm just nauseous like if I need to walk around or move a lot I would get really nauseous um and the only thing that mildly helps is just sitting in a really dark room hence the sunglasses I feel like Mariah Carey right now <laughs> Um, anyway, um, I've had pretty, pretty awful migraines, um, since I would say like I was 18. Um, and when I was in California, one of the only good things of going to Kaiser was, um, this medication they would give me. It was a tiny, 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 tiny little pill. I don't even remember the name of it that I would put on the bottom of my tongue and instantly my migraine would go away. It was amazing. Um, after moving to Dallas, I just sucked it up and I would take ibuprofen. But um, in the last few years, I would say I've gone to the urgent care, or like the ER, um, maybe two or three times, no three times, um, and they just give me a shot, which again, instantly works. But one of the perks of being self-employed is a really high, high premium insurance um, with insane deductibles. So going to get a shot ends up costing more than a thousand dollars. So I'm like, can I tough out this pain? Like I can't die from this headache, right? <laughs> Even like the whiteness of my sheets makes my head hurt. So I just wanted to check in and tell you guys happy Saturday. So if I'm a little flighty today, it's because I'm in a dungeon. Um, I don't need help. <laughs> Don't call for help. I'm not being kidnapped. <laughs> just have a migraine. <laughs> um, but I did want to ask you guys if you have any advice, any tips, um, any hacks or things that you do if you suffer from migraines. Because there's a big community of people that get migraines out there. You guys want to see something cute? We got thing one there, thing two, and thing three. Look at those rolls. Oh man, look at that. Oh man, cinnamon rolls on deck. Anyway, the majority of the portion of this vlog, I have had my eyes closed. <laughs> Hopefully I'm in frame. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys and ask you for some migraine tricks and tips that you guys know. Anyway, he left because he's like, I'm gonna go to the drugstore. I'm sure there's something you haven't tried that might work. He's so sweet. He's like, give me a job, please. Put me in coach. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? Anyway, um, that's it for right now. Um, but hopefully, hopefully there's something at the drugstore that will help alleviate. I don't even need the symptoms to go away. I just want them to be lessened. You know, I'd be happy with lessened symptoms. Um, and then I won't lose the whole day because I'd hate that. Our alone weekends, like our kidless weekends are so few and far between that I really would hate wasting them because I feel yucky or sitting in an urgent care about to pay them $1,500 for a shot, you know? <laughs> Mama's broke. I did my taxes yesterday. It's not looking good, y'all. Hey, you guys, happy Sunday. Pardon my Saturday absence. I was legitimately dying all day. In fact, today I just have a regular headache. So it feels a lot better than a migraine. Like I'm like, yes, I'm so happy I have a headache because it's not a migraine. So 
I would say maybe twice a year I get these really bad migraines. Like I usually get a headache every so often. I'll have one like once a week, whatever. But every so often I get a migraine that is progressive so i'll wake up one day and i'm like oh i have a headache annoying ibuprofen it doesn't work and then i'm like okay fine i'll take some tylenol that doesn't work i'm like okay fine i'll take my migraine medication that doesn't work and it just escalates and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger it usually lasts two to three days if it ever lasts three days that's when i take myself to like urgent care or an emergency room and they give me a shot um but yesterday was just absolutely awful parker was really sweet he um bought me chinese food from my favorite place which isn't very close um and we just had kind of a lazy day um like i said i still have that like mild headache in the back of my head sort of like not in the back of my head in the back of my thoughts like where it doesn't really impose on my day so we got up today and i had told parker that i need to get back into my routine of going to mass on sundays and all that stuff so what we're gonna do right now is um head out we're gonna go to the 9 45 service um and then we are going on a one hour road trip or harley ride um to a place called greenville texas so a shout out to Heather in Oklahoma who left me a comment in my vlog yesterday and said that the best tacos, the best tortillas, the best everything she's ever had um, is at this little restaurant in Greenville, Texas. So the rain finally cleared up. Can we talk about this for a second though? Okay. So Dallas has beautiful spring weather that looks like it's going to stick and then come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's like, psych, let's rain all day. Um, so we've been battling that, but... Um, uh, today it looks like it's cleared it looks like it's gone at least for the day and it might rain tonight but not during the day so we're gonna take advantage and head out especially since we didn't really get to do anything yesterday so um, we're gonna go to mass at 945 then we're gonna go on a little road trip on uh, Parker's bike which is why I'm wearing this shirt he actually got me this shirt on his annual road trip he went to Colorado and they went to I think it's called Pike's Peak. And so he got this there. Like, does he know my love language or what? Like neon pink. Hello. Anyway, outfit of the day. It's nothing to write home about. I'm even wearing like my helmet hairdo. My hair is wet right now, but I had to just tie it back because there is no way to have cute hair. You guys, let's just talk about it. I don't know how to French braid. I don't know how to Dutch braid. I don't know how to braid. Um, I'm gonna have to teach Parker to do that <laughs> so that um, he can braid my hair. So I just kind of put it back in little elastics. As far as the OOTD goes, I'm wearing my little tee from Colorado, my express jeans as always, and then these boots, which are, I think I've told you in a previous video, um, I've had these since I was like 15. Um, one of my favorite, favorite gifts ever that my mom got me. Um, I think they're Lucky. I think the brand is Lucky, like Lucky jeans um and this is Sophia's outfit of the day tell everyone tell everyone that you have been on one for the last few days you've been a naughty naughty girl tell everybody just tell them confess your crimes she seems completely unbothered look at her she's like yes so what oh the gang's all here the gang's all here what's up diaper butt like you have diaper butt you tell everyone your dew claw fell off hmm tell everyone your dew claw fell off you're being so brave Oh my goodness. I am so lucky he hasn't tore up all my carpet. Because he always does that. Wouldn't you think he'd have like tears in the carpet? Get your brother. 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 Oh. Oh. Bless you. Bless you. Alright you guys. I really hope God doesn't mind that I'm going to go say hello to him in this outfit. But after mass we're going to head straight to Greenville. Um, and eat some delicious food. So you guys are coming along um, and I think that's it. My head still hurts. I need to make sure I pack some ibuprofen or Tylenol or something in my backpack. Backpack. <laughs>
right, you guys, do you not mind the amazing hair or the sound of that amazing diesel truck? I'm yelling more than usual because I'm partially deaf at this moment, but um, hashtag will travel for tacos. This is for you, Heather. This better change my life, Heather, because I just sat on a bike for an hour. Although, wasn't it beautiful? Did you guys see all the cows? Like, all the cows. And I wanna know why my grass isn't that green. Like, everything is green here. Greenville, maybe that's why. Ah, uh, green, cool. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, my hair is so flat. Let's do this. All right, you guys, I don't know if we have a problem or an amazing solution, but I just ordered three tacos, menudo, a torta, and a quesadilla. And I saw some things on the menu after I ordered that I kind of want to order now. So I'm really excited. The menudo smells delicious. Please don't mind my uh, windburn face. <laughs> Is it good? Did you try the broth? So we totally left you guys off on a cliffhanger yesterday, Sunday. So the whole day was really weird for me because having had the migraine for about, I would say 40 hours, the following day when I start to sort of feel normal, I'm just insanely exhausted. I feel like the day before was a crazy marathon, right? So on top of that, we decided to have like an adventure day. We went to mass 
And then we took um, Parker's bike to Greenville, um, which is a really small, it was kind of like a cute little town. I don't know actually how big it is, but the downtown of it was really, really small. Um, it was adorable, I loved it. The food was amazing. So obviously like in all the vlogs, I will leave that information in the description box below. But a huge hug and shout out to Heather who told us about this taco place. We actually bought some tortillas um, and brought them home with us because they were that good. I feel like their corn um, tortillas, they probably mix some flour into them because they're a lot more tender than just straight corn masa. So big, big, big thank you to Heather. That food was amazing. Parker loved it. Um, on our way back, we hit um, McKinney. McKinney is a big city, um, up and coming city in Dallas. Um, it's kind of like a mid to higher income um, suburban type neighborhood. Um, but their downtown is so pretty. It's so fun. They have amazing eateries. Um, a really, really cool coffee shop called Snug, which is where we got our coffees yesterday. Um, and that's kind of what we showed you guys in the vlog. Um, one of my favorite restaurants is there. It's called Sugar Bacon. Really, really good food. Um, so we went there. And then on the way back, we stopped at the grocery store to get um, food for Parker's lunches. And a lot of you guys have said, hey, you guys have to in include your meal prep in Parker's lunches. Um, but it's really nothing uh, interesting or unique or anything about it. Um, so Parker um, has to have a pretty clean diet because of some surgeries he's had in the past. It's very difficult for him to eat a lot of really processed foods or really um, with a lot of condiments. So like on the weekends, we go all out and we eat whatever we want. But during the week, if he doesn't eat clean, then he really struggles. Um, and so all he does, literally you guys, all he does is grilled chicken, grilled steak, and then vegetables. Nothing else. There is nothing else. Salt and pepper. I mean, it's basic. It's plain. It's delicious because it's just regular unprocessed food, right? Um, but um, there's really nothing to it. Um, so we've never really thought about showing it because, I mean, it's just kind of like special diet food, you know? It's sad to say that basic ingredients are diet food. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Anyway, so right now it's almost 11 o'clock. I have an 11 a.m. appointment um, at Villa Nails, which is where I get my pedicures done. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I don't like pedicures. I hate them, in fact. I hate feet. I don't like people touching my feet. I don't like touching other people's feet. I don't like talking about feet. It makes me really uncomfortable. But a gel pedicure literally changed my life. The last pedicure I got, I was here with Sam. And if you guys remember, she visited like six weeks ago. So pedicure, a gel pedicure, although it is very expensive, lasts a very long time. I could forget about my feet and they'll look cute for a very long time. So anyway, I have an 11 o'clock pedicure. I have to get gas um, and then I have to go to my P.O. box. So if there's any mail in my P.O. box, I'll be sure to include it in this same vlog. Um, we do have to talk about something important. Um, and then the other thing is um, you guys keep asking me in the previous vlog why I wet my corn tortillas, which if I have time in this vlog, I will show you guys why. It's a lot easier to see it because it's kind of science. Um, it's a lot easier to show you guys so you can understand the difference but basically it's a difference between conduction cooking and convection cooking so um, it'll make a really big difference in the quality of your tortilla the way it tastes the way it makes your food feel and look and taste and everything it's amazing I thought everyone knew this trick because my mom has done it for the my entire life um, a lot of my aunts do it I just thought it was common knowledge so a lot of you guys asked about it a lot of you guys tried it asked about it and tried it and then realized the difference and we're like, I'm never doing tortillas again the same way again, you know? <laughs> so um, if I have time, I'll include that in this vlog. The other thing I want to show you, and I know I'm not going to forget because when I get home, it's like right there. Um, when we went to McKinney yesterday, we stopped at this fair trade gift shop. So basically all they do is they employ uh, people all over the world. It's fair trade. Um, there is this really beautiful story about a woman. And in fact, she's the one that made the sculpture that I brought home. 
So basically she works on um, soap stone. I think it's called soft soap stone. Um, and she does these carvings. And the cool thing is she gets medical benefits. She gets um, double minimum wage. She picks her own schedule and she's able to go home to her husband who's paralyzed and take care of him whenever he needs help or whatever, right? Anyway, so they have these sculptures where it's the parents and then kids. And every sculpture is a different amount of children. So when we were there, uh, Parker and I actually picked one out. And it's really beautiful because um, you see the adults in the figure and then there are two older children and then two small children and the, the the children kind of progressively change in tone or like color it's so cute you guys anyway I'm right outside my pedicure place I'm a little early uh, I still haven't decided what color to get I think I'm just gonna get white because I'm boring like that um, and then gas and PO box and I think that's it I don't think we have anything else left to do in this vlog one more thing I need to do something with my hair. I was looking at pictures, um, was it yesterday or the day before? No, not the day before, um, a few days ago. And my hair is so ridiculous right now. It has no shape, it has no color. It's literally like half dark brown and then half blonde. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. So I need to call Katie immediately and figure out what I wanna do, but before I call her, I have to know what I want to do. And I don't have an idea. I don't have hair inspiration. I don't have a single clue as to what I want to do. I'm so unmotivated in life in general, but more so my hair right now. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you guys my pedicure. I have a lot of work to do while I sit there because the removal, the application, all that stuff, the curing takes a long time. Um, but I have enough to keep me busy. But anyway, I'll check in with you guys in just a second. Hey you guys, I just got home. So at my PO box, I only had um, a little sample package of something, a really sweet, sweet letter um, that I'm not gonna share because of privacy reasons. Um, and then I also had a one PR package, which we're gonna open together. This one's really exciting because I think it's from Boutique and they send me um, their monthly subscription service to my PO box sometimes. Um, and they have a sheet mask subscription and then they have a like K-Beauty full-size product um, monthly subscription. So kind of excited to show you that. But before I do, I'm gonna show you guys that figurine I was telling you about that's made with stone um, from that fair trade store. I'll insert a picture of this shop because if you guys are in the DFW area, you have to check it out. There's lots of really cool stuff for your house, for your kids. Um, they have a lot of international cultural books for children, which are awesome. I kind of wanted to get all of them, but we were on Parker's motorcycle and that was just like a no-go. Do you guys have like a really loud dog? Like her breathing is loud, her chewing is loud, her barking is loud, like everything she does is loud. Why is everything you do loud? Why is literally everything you do loud? Everything. Your existence is loud. Like she can never sneak up on you. Okay, so here is that figurine I told you guys. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's handmade. So this is stone. It was $32. Do you see what I told you guys about the little kids? So the two older children and then the two little ones. Isn't that beautiful? And then the parents. I don't know if you can tell too. I think one of them is bigger than the other. Maybe it's just in my head. Anyway, so pretty. I was so excited when I saw it. And no two figures are the same. Because it's made with natural stone, um, all of them are different colors. I also got this, which I've been really enjoying. So these are um, gospel cards. They come with this little, um, what is this called? Uh, whatever, like to hold stuff up. <laughs> so these are gospel cards and I switch them every few days um, and I don't like go out of my way to read them to my boys. I just leave them up. And I know for a fact my son runs downstairs to check if I've switched it and he reads it. So I feel like this is one of those things where I'm teaching grace by osmosis, <laughs> hoping something sticks. But the cards are absolutely beautiful. I just love the fact that the beautiful messages are on artwork that actually kind of go with my home decor. Apparently my English is not very good today. 
Neither is my coordination, you guys. So I have this one, and I also have another one upstairs that I haven't shown you. It's the alphabet um, with little Bible excerpts. It's so, so lovely. Okay, so here's my little package from Boutique. So cute, look at that little dinosaur. Hopefully I can open this with one hand. Oh, wow, I'm not doing a very good job, am I? Sorry, dinosaur. All right, you guys, so this isn't sponsored. This is just something that Boutique sends to me to my P.O. box. And the reason I'm talking so quiet, well, maybe normal to you guys, <laughs> the reason I'm not yelling is because my four-year-old is actually a few feet away from me asleep. So that's why I'm worried that this little nerd is gonna wake him up. Anyway, so um, not sponsored, but they do give you guys a promo code if you wanna use it, if you're interested in checking it out, if you wanna find out more information, there is their Instagram. Sometimes they'll send like a cute little goodie in here just because they spoil me and they're so nice. Let's see what we got. Oh my God, you guys, it's a dog mug. How cute is that? It also comes with spoon, but it's broken, but it's only broken in half, so I could probably glue it back together. How cute is that? I'm guessing you put it um, on the edge of the mug like that. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and then there's also a little notepad or like a notebook. That's really pretty. I love the gold foil on there. So here are the subscription boxes. You have a mask one, and then you have the BB box. This is the one with full-size products. So let me show you guys that one first. You're trying to look at my pedicure, aren't you? Okay, so the full-size box always has a theme. This is the March box. Oh, I'm a month behind, sorry guys. Um, sweet as honey, so I'm guessing it's themed all around honey-based products. Look at that. So we're gonna get a hair treatment, a sheet mask. This is the um, sheet mask subscription. So it's the same as this one where it comes with a printout um, and then it'll explain every single one. Seriously, Sophia, you gotta stop. You gotta relax. You gotta stop. I mean, even your lip smacking is loud. <laughs> Do you hear that? Okay, so the printout has um, the explanation of each of these masks and um, what it's for. Apparently there's a mystery mask. Cool, so thank you Boutique for sending that through. Again, if you guys were interested in checking out either the K-Beauty box or the BB box, full-size products or the sheet masks, you can use this code for 25% off. Not sponsored, not affiliate, not like that, nothing. I'm gonna go try and fix this little guy because that is super cute. Hey you guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Before I forget, I was editing part of this vlog that you guys are watching now yesterday um, while I got my pedicure done. And I realized that because I'm using my older camera, it wasn't set to daylight savings time. So the time seems off. So I'm like, hey, it's uh, 12.30. And then the time that I clocked in um, on iMovie, my editing software, is wrong. So it's an automatic time and date function that it does on iMovie. So um, I can't change it. Anyway, so just think about daylight savings time and then it'll all make sense. Anyway, I'm on my way to um, the dealership because my car is due for its, um, I don't know if it's the 15,000 mile or the 20,000 mile service because I'm at 17, but my car's like, yo, you gotta come in. I'm pretty sure it's the 20 because I don't drive it I drive my car often, I just don't drive it long distance. So it kind of reminds you of the service based on um, oil, cleanliness of filters, things like that. But I'm a little annoyed because when I got this car, so a little backstory, this is gonna be one of those like emo monologue moments. Hopefully I have enough time to finish the story. So um, this car, was my gift to myself after I got divorced as sort of like a treat and uh, a reminder and sort of a, a way to empower myself to say that I got this, you know, I got this, I can do this on my own, I'm confident, um, I'm in a good place, I deserve a treat. Um, 
So I bought my first car when I was uh, 17. My parents had to sign, co-sign for me, but I was making the payments. I got a VW Beetle. My payments were $217 a month. Um, after that, I rolled up to a dealership when I was 21 and I got a BMW 3 Series. And I was so proud of myself because again, that was like my very first treat to myself. Like I'm a career woman, um, you know, I'm doing so well and I've saved this money. So I have enough money to give a down payment big enough so that my payments are really small. Um, so when I moved to Dallas, my ex sold my car and it's, it was a good thing but a bad thing. It was a good thing because it was to upgrade me to a mom car, uh, which I never liked. I never liked my mom car. I'm not trying to sound like a spoiled brat or ungrateful because I'm absolutely grateful for the fact that we even had the opportunity to have a mom car. Um, but I didn't have a, like a say in the process. I didn't have a say in the process of selling my car. I didn't have a say in the process of what car I was going to get. I didn't have a say in anything except what color I wanted it. And there was an issue with me saying white, you know? So anyway, after I got divorced, I got this car. And I intentionally don't answer your questions in the comments when you ask me what car I have because two reasons. One, safety, obviously. Um, and two, because I don't like my car. So I'm someone that has absolutely no pride to ever admit I made a mistake. And getting this car was a mistake. Um, my idea behind it was I'm gonna treat myself, I deserve it, I can afford it, so I'm gonna do it. And I need a big car because I'm turning in, I'm turning a two car home into a one car home. So this car has to be able to carry stuff, to hold furniture, to um, accommodate many people when my friends and family come to visit. Um, I made the choice to get this car for too many reasons that weren't smart, if that makes sense. Anyway, so my thought process is the car that I have should be a car that's good enough for me and my children, right? My car should be something that I can afford comfortably. Okay. My car should be something that can accommodate our um, lifestyle needs um, like, I don't know, two suitcases or whatever. Uh, my car should be big enough or my car should be good enough to um, help with my dogs. But my car decision, my car purchase decision ha should have nothing to do with family that lives 600, you know, 1600 miles away that I see twice a year. My car purchase should not be made based on I'm a successful empowered woman and I want to make a statement. My car choice should be something that I made because it makes sense in different ways and not in all the ways that I chose. Long story short, I leased it because I'm self-employed, so a portion of my miles, my gas, my tolls um, are deductible, are, are um, uh, I, can, I can use them to my advantage when I do my taxes, just a portion, because I don't do all of my work inside my vehicle, right? Basically, I can only expense things like if I drive to a Sephora or if I take you guys on a concert with me and I'm vlogging in my vehicle while I'm going to that concert kind of thing. So <clears throat> it, it was in my best interest to lease my car um, because then it can be a business expense, a partial business expense. The other thing was I only got an SUV because my two boys are still in car seats. And so I want a car that's going to keep them safe, um, but that will also make two car seats feel comfortable because they are bulky. Now here's the thing is I assumed in my four year lease, my two boys would be um, either out of car seats or in the booster seats that take a very, very little room that you just kind of click in and click out. Um, so I was like, yeah, four year lease sounds about right. When I got this car, um, within the first three months, I had already taken it back to the dealership at least four times. The first problem was the headrest came broken. 
So it just rattled. Everywhere I would drive, it would rattle. And it would go up and it would go chick, 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 chick. And I kept telling them, that's not normal, that's not normal. Oh, that's fine, it's totally the thing. I was like, how come this one doesn't rattle? That one rattles, this one doesn't. So I took it in, it turns out it had a broken part inside the headrest. So they had to fix it. About, I don't know, a week after they did that, um, I got stranded twice. Once inside my garage, thank God, and then the other time um, in a parking lot somewhere. I was mortified. I had my car for like five minutes and I was already getting stranded. It had a dead cell. So basically they sold me the car with a dead battery. After that, a few months in, um, it turns out that these cars have a um, cooling system or an AC system in a location inside the vehicle that uh, uh, makes the cooling liquid pool. So when you turn on the AC for the first like 30 seconds, the car smells like rotten vomit. It is absolutely 100% disgusting and embarrassing when someone's in my car. Albeit, it lasts like 20 seconds. And so when I called and asked about it, I assumed they were gonna say, oh, something's wrong with the car, something's wrong with the filter. But no, they're like, oh, that's just part of this model. That's just how the cooling system is, unfortunately. But we have this deodorizing function that we can add the next time you bring your car in. It's like 100 bucks. So I did it. The first time I did it, I said, fine, you know what? If this is something I didn't ask about, shame on me, I should have asked before I got the car, so I'll try it. That deodorizing system or whatever lasted like three weeks. Other than that, the smell came right back. And this is Dallas. You don't ride around with your windows down. You always have the AC on or the heat. That's it, that's just how it rolls. So, um, after using your car for a few months, you start to notice little things that maybe aren't um, automatic or innate or really move organically with the way that you're used to driving vehicles. So it has this really beautiful um, screen um, for like the console that kind of shows you your text messages and your music and ways and stuff. It's not touch screen. I know I'm spoiled, but guess what? You could go get a Chevy for $300 a month and it's touch screen. <laughs> this car is a lot more expensive than that and I don't even have touch screen. What the heck? I get more confused trying to figure out that intuitive knob that it has um, than if I were to just go tick, tick, tick and like click stuff, you know, with my finger. Uh, anyway, the whole point of this story is I learned from my mistakes and I hope that if I share my mistakes with my friends, with my family, with you guys, that it'll help you maybe make a better decision on things, you know, just because it's a statement. Um, you know, if you've really wanted those Gucci kicks and they're $600 and you saved, I can tell you, honestly, uh, you can get the same types of white sneakers for like 150 bucks, same quality, um, and you don't have to spend the 600. But I understand that attraction towards a label or something that you really have your, your mindset on. So something like that, I would say, yeah, you know what, treat yourself. But a vehicle that you're committed to for four years that just continues to be a letdown is very, very, I feel ashamed, you know, because I make good choices and this wasn't something that I did that I really thought through. I left a photo shoot, I drove to the dealership and I drove out driving a loner because I had ordered my car. So um, I absolutely 100% regret getting this car. I'm saying this as I'm like pulling into the dealership. <laughs> what a brat. As I'm pulling into the dealership um, and I'll have to continue this story later, but just, make good decisions for yourself, you know? So I'm actually here to service my car, but I'm also gonna inquire to see what my options are on ending a lease early. Cause most leases, they're like, oh, by the way, you're gonna have to pay the rest of the lease and I'm not about that life, y'all. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. I totally left you guys on a cliffhanger yesterday. The good news is my car was serviced and I had already prepaid for it, so. I guess that's a good thing. I, it felt like I, it felt like it was free because I had already paid for it, but I guess it, I guess it wasn't free. Anyway, um, so today we're gonna do a bunch of errandy stuff, but you want to stay tuned to the very last second of this vlog because we need to talk about something 
and if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you might want to pay attention. Anyways, um, so I just dropped off my oldest at school, but I want to show you guys, you guys, I am like all crusty, like let's be honest. This is mom Danny. Um, so I showed you guys my outdoor furniture and I was like, oh my God, it's so fun and it was so cool and I got a 5% because I picked it up at Target. But what you don't get to see is the behind the scenes of how it is to bring that cool stuff home. So my garage is, you know, pretty big, right? And um, it's usually filled with dog chemicals, um, a little fire truck and a wagon, and then all my Christmas decoration because apparently I need 32,000 tubs for that stuff. Um, and then we have our ponies. Um, and then we have this. So this is the cold hard truth of bringing really big furniture home is how do we get rid of all the stuff. So I'm not a big fan of being that neighbor that just puts this entire situation out on the curb. I think it's rude and selfish and a garbage man is not supposed to take your garbage this way. So shout out to all my garbage men because what you're supposed to do is actually break it down. Unless you go to a, <laughs> unless you go to um, a dump site where they take whatever you take, um, that's fine. But if you're going to be disposing of this on your day of the week, do it right, y'all. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Me and my little four-year-old assistant, we're gonna slice this up and put it in the recycle bin. So aside from murdering cardboard for the next like two hours, um, I wanna show you guys something I got at Ulta that is exclusive to Ulta and I'm so excited. As soon as I got the email, I placed an order. I used Ebates, obviously. Um, and I wanna show you guys that. Um, what else did I wanna show you guys? I don't remember, but anyway, you get to look at this face for the rest of the day. You know, it's gonna look cute for you guys. I'm gonna take a shower, blow dry my hair, and look a little, a little cute and presentable. But um, hashtag mommy thug life. This is what it is, and now I get to um, now I get to play with some. Are you okay? Are you playing with bugs? I sure hope not. Now I get to play with cardboard. I was gonna do my nails, but do you guys remember when you're doing a lot of chores, vacuuming, cardboard, slicing? Uh, it ruins your mani, so we're not gonna risk it. Anyway, um, that's it. I love you. Hey you guys, I'm just here for a check-in. I actually just got home. I had to swing by my son's school. Do you guys have um, a child that regardless of doing the same exact thing every day, they still have to be reminded to do it? Like, hey, brush your teeth, put on your shoes, don't forget your jacket, you're going to school so you kinda need a backpack. So every day it's the same story. We have to do the whole, do you have your shoes? Do you have your jacket? Do you have your books? Do you have your this? Do you have your, and every single day it's like, oh, I need a backpack? On days, most days I'm like, okay, whatever. It's the routine. On days where I have no patience or I'm exhausted, I'm like, really? Like, seriously? <laughs> I just can't believe it. Anyway, today's one of those days where there's like an additional item you have to remember to take to school so i had to haul my butt over there to make sure he had it um they're doing like a timeline project so he had he needed pictures of himself from zero to seven um you know i just i haven't been in school in like 20 years why do i still have to do homework <laughs> I'm sitting out here because I was cleaning up the backyard and putting some stuff away and then I realized that y'all probably want to see an update on the products that I bought so that my boy dogs wouldn't mark assault by a cardboard box. Um, so I do have an update for you guys. So I bought a couple of items if you guys remember. One was so that they don't mark. That means there could be... All right, you guys, sorry about that interruption. So, um, side note, one of my kids has a ringworm. Gross, I know, that's like totally a thing. I always thought ringworm was like more gross than it actually is. Like I actually thought it was a worm. If it sounds loud, it's because everyone's landscaping right now and it's windy. So apparently it's just like fungus 
like on the skin but my son has it right here like it looks like he got punched in the chin it's awful and it's only getting worse over the counter bowl doesn't work so if you guys have any homeopathic all natural situations to recommend let me know bleach I'll do it <laughs> anyway so I was telling you guys about all the stuff I uh, hauled for not marking from PetSmart so here's the update none of the dogs have peed on my furniture we're winning at life right now you guys but there is a catch a loophole sort of a thing whatever we're gonna get into it um, I also have a review on the stain and odor remover the all natural one or the more natural <laughs> one um and we're gonna talk about it so hang tight y'all because we're gonna talk about pee okay so the first thing is this this actually works this is a repellent spray if your animal has already marked if they've already peed on whatever you don't want them to pee on this will not work it has to be virgin stuff virgin furniture virgin carpet virgin grass virgin roses whatever it has to be something that has not touched urine and it'll work the only downside to this is it must be reapplied every so often i've applied it every two days and so far it's worked now would i do it that often um when it's not raining probably not but i think that it's sort of behavioral as well so if they get used to not peeing somewhere they're not gonna pee on there anymore it's just like inside the house you know so so far this stuff works I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing it um, it's gonna be in my monthly favorites <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> this one okay so this one has oxy and it's a natural um, pet care brand don't mind that windy interruption so I use this to remove um, stains and odors off the brick pillars of my patio so I would put them here now as you can tell my beautiful assistant here oh my god you guys this wind is driving me crazy I really hope it doesn't compromise the microphone okay so this is what I've been using on this pillar just this pillar to test it out so if you can tell it actually does remove stains do you see how faded that stain is? This is actually a new marking from just today. Diabetic piss, you guys. Look at how awful it is. Anyway, so it does such a good job at removing stains. I mean, good. And I think it's because of the oxy in there. So it does bleach in a non-bleach kind of way. So it does whiten, which is what you can see here. So I definitely like this product. However, it doesn't last as long as the other one that I've been using, the, um, enzymatic urine destroyer or whatever so this one doesn't work as good in terms of removing the habit or deterring the habit De deterrent deterring deterring the habit <laughs> but it does do a good job in sort of a visual way so if you want it to look good not necessarily be good then this is your route now in terms of say hi Mern. so let's say we're talking about really functional this one here and this one here work pretty much the same. They're actually really close to the same pro Oh, whoa, did your pool fall down? Did you get scared? Oh, you big wimp. So they do work the same. I think this one's cheaper. I don't know why, um, but this one works good for me. It keeps them away from stuff a little bit longer. Does it stop them from marking altogether? It really doesn't. They'll come back eventually. In terms of stain removing, it doesn't say that on here. I mean, it doesn't claim to be a stain remover, so I'm not surprised that it doesn't do that. The other one does, but I think it's like one of those things where where it's a multi-purpose product, it's not gonna do that good of a job as a singular purpose, like the pet blocker. So I think I will continue purchasing these instead of the green brand. Um, and I will for sure, come on, Mern, but I'll for sure keep buying this one. This one is awesome. Mern's like, boys are gross. But yeah, this would probably be really good for like smaller spaces or maybe something that doesn't have um, little holes in the grout like brick. So if you have more of like a flat surface, this might be a really good option. Maybe tile or... Um, siding or something like that this might be a good option but i really wish it had worked a little bit better on the length of time that it actually works hey you guys quick check-in before we end off this vlog so i told you guys that i got this new product super excited to share it with you guys i got the email 
Ulta's like, hey, uh, online preview, you first type thing. I don't know if it was because I'm Diamond or because it was just an online release first and then it's gonna be in stores. But you guys know that I'm a fan of Dry Bar's Detox Dry Shampoo, um, the original. Lush, doesn't smell very good. Um, but they came out with two limited edition scents for summer and I couldn't wait to go smell them in store, so I, I bought them online. But I, I used Ebates, yay! <laughs> anyway, so I bought the two scents online, and then yesterday, Ulta sent me this one. So now I have two of the Colada scent. So what they did is they came out with two summer-themed scents. This is the Coastal Cooler. Um, same formula. There's no tint to the um, dry shampoo. Um, they just smell really good. Um, do they smell like, I don't know, where they changed your life? No, probably not, but I actually prefer the scent on these over the original and Lush. So these actually smell pretty good. One of them is like pineapple coconut and the other one's more of like an oceany wave scent. I told you guys that Ulta sent me the other one, but I also added this to my cart when I placed the order because, um, you guys know I'm going to Mexico soon and I kind of want to pre-tan so that I don't look so pale there. <laughs> and this is my favorite um, gradual self-tanner. So it's not going to give you any streaks, line of demarcation. It's very slow, very gradual, but it's also very natural. It's not orange and it lasts a long time. The only thing that's a little meh is the scent but it's not so much where I would stop using it. This actually also comes in the original, which isn't the firming, but listen, if I can stack the deck, why the heck not? It also comes in medium deep. Um, they were also doing like a free gift with purchase for some reason that day, like, oh, get this little trial bag of stuff. So it came with a couple hand creams, a little shower mousse, and this scrubber that I actually, <laughs> I am, almost just as excited about the dry shampoo as I am about this. <laughs> this is a facial scrubber. How cool is that? It's supposed to be gentle, but it doesn't feel gentle. And so you slip your fingers in here or your hand and you apply your cleanser and then you scrub the heck out of your face. How cool is that? Anyway, so I thought I would show you my miniature Ulta haul. So, there's another thing that we need to talk about, but we're gonna go downstairs for this. All right, you guys, we came downstairs because there's something I need to show you down here, but before we talk about that, we need to talk about something else. So, I've been getting a little comments from you guys, you observant little pandaroos, which I totally appreciate, um, about why my subscriber count is dropping. And I think this is something that's kind of sensitive and most vloggers probably wouldn't address. Um, or wouldn't know how to address or might be embarrassed to address um, But it's reality. So why not talk about it? so um, since June of last year um, My subscriber count has very slowly um, declined um, and The only time I lose subscribers are when I post a video <laughs> So my viewership hasn't declined, only my subscriber count. So it's, it's, it's hard to interpret your statistics or your analytics without taking it personal. It's hard to interpret your statistics and analytics um, without overthinking. Um, and you guys know I'm like the master overthinker of the universe. Um, and it's hard to really sit down and look at your, your analytics, your statistics, and think, hmm, what's going on? Is it the time? Is it the length? Is it the whatever? Um, and it's hard to figure out. It's really hard to narrow down uh, what I can think of, what I can say, and what is 100% factual and concrete evidence or facts are um, I entered in a committed relationship when my stats started to decline. Um, I took a really significant amount of time off in the winter. I mean like a month and a half. Um, my schedule of Monday, Thursday, Saturday hasn't been as consistent as it used to be, but the inconsistency came from the lack of motivation because of my statistics or my analytics. So, um, 
Is it something that worries me? It's a hard thing to answer because it worries me on the financial aspect because this is my job and how I support my two sons and four dogs in <laughs> my household, other people in my family um, on that front. But does it worry me in the sense that I'm not relevant anymore or that I'm not cool anymore or that people don't care? Not really. Um, I've been very frank with you guys. I've been very candid with you guys. I've been 100% transparent from day one on who I am, my upbringing, my experience with bullying. And so my value or my self-worth has never been, has never stemmed from or been a derivative of whether I am loved or accepted or not. Um, do I like it? Of course I do. I love your comments. I live for those of you that, you know, get excited when I post a video and have your notifications turned on and uh, take the time to actually have a conversation with me in the comments. You know, you respond to what I address in the vlog. And so that's always going to be my preference. You know, who, who's, who's wouldn't it be? <laughs> so um, I don't know how to address it. I don't know what to address. Um, I don't know how to, um, I don't even want to say resolve it because it doesn't seem like an issue to me. Um, maybe I'm being ignorant or, um, you know, trying to live in this blissful, this state of like blissful ignorance. Um, but the biggest hit that I took uh, of subscribers and it was like an instant chunk was around the time that the beauty community imploded you know when all those tweets resurfaced and friendships were throwing other friendships under the bus and it was about being scandalous and selling people out and um, just coming from a place of low moral and ethical standards. Um, so I feel that subscribers took a stand and had their voices heard by denouncing the beauty community. And I can't, I can't shame you guys for that. I can't blame you guys for that. I did the same thing. As a predominantly beauty channel, I went through my subscribership and I did the same exact thing. I purged. And some people didn't purge based on human integrity. They purged based on beauty. They said, hey, you're part of the beauty community? Bye. And I understand that. And I support it. And like I said, I don't, I don't want to say I'm stressed out or saddened or confused or um, any yucky feelings on this. It's more of a, what do I want to do about it? You know, so that's kind of where my head is at right now. What do I want to do about it? Um, the one thing that is absolutely weighing me down and driving me crazy is the fact that I post a video and I lose subscribers. And yet the views on that video are just as high or even higher as before. I know that a lot of people that don't like me um, watch my content and by people that don't like me, I mean those people that invest their free time in creating hate accounts, troll accounts, spam accounts, um, are part of those like discussion boards where they don't like you so much, but yet they know every detail about your life and they know, you know, every minute of the vlog you posted and they know that I'm not friends with Hilda anymore and stuff like that. And so, um, I know that a big chunk of my viewership comes from those people that don't like me. So shout out to you guys because I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, and so it is annoying though because I want to produce content. Um, I want to show you guys my monthly favorites. I've been meaning to do that spring break haul for you guys, but I'm like, why am I going to do a spring break haul if I'm going to put all this work into it 
and I'm gonna lose subscribers for posting it. You guys, I could go two weeks without posting and I'll get a spike in my subscribership. And then I can post three to four videos a week and I get a decline in my subscribership. <laughs> so it's almost like, I told you guys the minute that my channel took off in 2013, the minute my channel took off, I said, I'm not doing videos for the subscribers. I'm not doing videos for the views. I'm doing it for the companionship, right? But that was before my channel was paying my mortgage. Now that my channel pays my mortgage and I have four sick dogs and two young boys at home and a full, serious, long-term, committed, amazing relationship and so much stress in my life, so why am I gonna produce content that's going to negatively impact my channel? <laughs> it's almost like, okay, here's a perfect example. It's like, if you don't go to the gym, you'll get abs. But if you go to the gym, you won't get abs. Would you go to the gym? You know what I'm saying? That's like the best way to describe it. That is my analogy or metaphor or whatever. So if I don't make videos, I get subscribers. But if I make videos, I lose them. I'm very confused. I'm still getting views though. So like my ad revenue, I'll explain this to you guys in the video if you even care, like how you actually own a business doing this. Um, my ad revenue is the same, but I'm losing subscribers. So if I lose subscribers, that impairs my relationship with brands. So that's important to me. I mean, you guys are more important to me than brands, let's be honest. But um, a brand isn't going to be like, okay, well then just, I'll give you seven minutes to explain this to me. And I'm gonna be like, okay, listen, so people are still watching my videos. They're just not subscribing. You know, like they, they don't care. They just want the numbers. <laughs> anyway, all of that was to say that for those of you that are here, for those of you that double click the bell icon to get notifications, for those of you that get the little reminders on your phone when I post on Instagram, for those of you that have sent me lovely letters to my PO box, for those of you that tag me on funny memes, miniature memes, dog memes, taco memes on Instagram, for those of you that reply to me on Facebook, for those of you that have been here since the jingle, since the statement necklaces, for those of you that have been here for the last three minutes, I just wanna take five seconds to say how much I appreciate you guys because whether you've been here for six years or you've been here for six minutes, I appreciate you and I appreciate your support and I appreciate your, you trusting me, trusting me with your time, gifting me with your time and just hanging out with me and being a friend. And as hard as it might be for you guys to understand, my relationship with you guys is so important. You know, um, when I was at my lowest and at my loneliest in a big city where I didn't know anyone and I was in a really tough place, you guys kept me company. And that's something that from now until forever, I will never forget. Which brings me to my next point. Enough serious talk for right now. My next point is, um, I got something in the mail the other day and I joked on my Instagram about how it meant nothing to me, but what it turned into was all of you guys telling me how much it meant to you. I'm the type of friend that if you tell me you love my shirt and you get really, really, really excited about it, it would make me happier to give you the shirt than to continue wearing a shirt that I probably don't like as much as you do because my happiness has always come from a place of making other people happy. So if I have something that I like, but I know you would like more, that has more value for me. So I wanna show you guys something and uh, I wanna see if one of you guys wants to be kind enough to open up your loving home to it. You ready? All right, you guys. 
so here it is. Urban Decay's collaboration with Game of Thrones, or rather their Game of Thrones collection. Um, they sent it to me and I didn't know what to do with it because um, I've never seen the show. The eyeshadow palette looks amazing. I haven't opened any of this. I haven't touched it because this is something that needs to be appreciated and it needs to be it needs to go to the hands of someone that knows what it's all about and could really appreciate it. And I know that's one of you guys. So I'm going to try and open this as graceful as I can. Um, so there's a little drawer here. And basically it's the entire Game of Thrones collection in its beautiful packaging that they sent it in. This is just like a plastic cover that they put over the box. But I thought this would be really cool as a display item in your bedroom because the artwork is absolutely stunning. Anyway, so um, I love you guys and I appreciate you guys hanging out and I appreciate you guys sticking around and I appreciate you guys joining the Panda Crew. Um, and I would love to be able to share Share some of the rewards that I get because of this job that I have thanks to you. So if you guys are fans of Game of Thrones you're probably gonna want to check the description box below to find out how you can win this entire collection and give it a loving home and there is a fly flying around my house that is driving me bananas. Anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed the super extra long super long not long in length maybe but long cochinas long in uh, days um, vlog. Um, I hope you like the update on the uh, urine situation. I hope you liked, um, what else? Did we eat tacos? Yeah, we ate tacos. Of course we ate tacos. It's a vlog. We always eat tacos. Anyway, you guys, so if you have any ideas, any concepts, any series, series that you would like to see on this channel, any videos that you've been, you know, hanging on the seat of your pants that you want to see, that you're really eager to see, um, I'd love to share it with you guys, but I'd like to do work that you care about. I'd like to do work that you wanna see, but I wanna make sure that it's content that I'm also passionate about. So as passionate about it as I am, if it's something that you don't wanna see, um, it might be a moot point, you know, or be fruitless. So anyway, let me know ideas, concepts, words of encouragement, anything that you can think of in the comment section below. But other than that, you guys know the drill. Everything we did, everywhere we went, anything we ate, it's all listed and linked in the description box of this video. Um, do you guys want to say bye to the boys? Say bye. Say bye to everyone. Let me see your cinnamon rolls. Oh, those are nice. Those are some nice cinnamon rolls. Popo, Ben. Popo, Burn. Come here. Hi, baby. Mern, come say bye to all your friends. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello, old man. Where's my old man? There he is. What's the matter? What's the matter? You were outside already. It's 80 degrees. You were outside already. Yes, you were. Anyway, you guys, you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, <laughs> this coffee break is over. Bye!